Good morning. My name is Mahina Martin, and I've traveled here today from Maui to testify on the PLDC's draft administrative rules. Like today, when the PLDC came to Maui for its first public hearing, we were told no questions could be answered. We were greeted at the door with stacks of paper to read and a chance to comment. There was no presentation before, during, or after the public hearing. We got very minimal information. I, like many, many others that were there that night, came just out of curiosity, just because we were wondering what is PLDC and what could it possibly do to our county. I was really interested in finding out more about the structure of PLDC, its intentions, its plan, and how its authority would affect public lands and our community's everyday life. I left that night disappointed, frustrated, and deeply disturbed. Disappointed that the public was not a participant in any authentic, well-intended manner, frustrated at the shallow attempt to keep the public involved, and very disturbed by the obvious one-way process. The massive turnout at the public hearings held on the Big Island, Kauai, Maui, Molokai, and Oahu should have been enough to demonstrate that follow-up hearings should and must return to the neighbor islands. I cannot begin to express the anger of our communities at being left out of direct dialogue with the PLDC through a hearing such as this. Instead, we are told to email, write, mail, fax, or buy a plane ticket to Honolulu to participate. We took time that night, time out of a busy life, away from work, family, our activities to attend, out of fairness, to listen. Because it was that important to us. We were told we would continue to be included and that our input was valuable. Yet the next time we heard from the PLDC was to find out that instead of returning as expected, the kuleana was on us to come to you if we wanted to participate. Once again, taking time off from work, family, and other activities, only this time we paid air ferry come. We use airlines mileage, points intended for family vacations, not to come here to protect our public lands. We are expected to trust a new agency that seems to be unable or unwilling to comprehend the level of value the public places on genuine good faith community engagement. We are expected to accept decisions that will impact our public lands for decades long past an administration or two or three. We are expected to tolerate agreements and contracts made outside of competitive bidding that could affect any of Hawaii's 67 state parks, 20 boat harbors, and approximately 600 miles of public access trails. Having said all that, Relative to these draft administrative rules, I do want to point out the following, and I would like to go over the three minutes, and I hope you grant that, since I flew here from Maui. On page 302.26, item 7, it talks about community community groups having a summary of comments completed and included in preliminary approval. Why is this optional and not a requirement, and why is it a summary? Page 302.26, item 8. There's a description of how land planning activities for the project will be coordinated, coordinated with the county planning departments, but this description should be specific. Is this coordination, a telephone call, a meeting, an email? What are the ramifications? Avoid vagueness. In 302-35 out of E, the final project proposal says that it shall contain all of the conditions or restrictions, and this is your word, suggested by the county. Why is it not a requirement and what are the ramifications if these conditions are not met? On page 302.33, item A, it says, quote, an eligible project applicant or project partner shall conduct or participate in at least one public meeting in the county, community, or development plan area to solicit community input on a proposed project. This public meeting shall take place prior to final determination. Why only one? I saw a graph, and you folks have developed a very nice flow chart with lots of, uh, there we go, lots of nice-looking uh, public meeting icons, but yet I couldn't find a correlation of the four points where it talks about public meetings. I only found one that was required. So the picture says this, but the text says something else. So again, I'm unclear. And since there are coming no questions asked today, I guess that one might not be answered. 
Additionally, Maui County works hard at creating its own community plans and uses an incredible amount of time. Time that's put in by our own planning commissioners, general plan citizen advisory group members, so we can achieve smart growth. Future development ought to be county driven and not state imposed, bypassing local zoning laws put in place by the people of that place should remain a requirement to follow. The way the PLDC arrived at our doorstep passing through the House Senate and signed into law in an unheard of three days. The weak effort it makes to work in partnership with the public, the lump sum characterization of critics as hysterical, drum banging troublemakers, the use of money intended for land conservation to pay for PLDC salaries for an agency task with commercialization initiatives and not conservation efforts. Well, it's no wonder that so many of us believe that a rewrite of the administrative rules is not the answer. It's not a rewrite, it's a repeal. So far, the PLDC has heard that some folks want to give it a chance. I would say that the PLDC has had many a chance to meaningfully communicate with the public and earn our trust before it gets full authority to work with our trust. A tremendous amount of people across our islands in Hawaii are at odds with the PLDC. And rather than spending months wrestling with pages and pages and pages of rewritten, reworked administrative rules, vilifying each other, generating negativity in our own communities and government, I honestly think we just need to stop where we are, call it a day, and I'll wrap up. And maybe even a new day in Hawaii where widespread <coughs> public disapproval and the state will be respected. Finally, when the PLDC came to Maui, we looked for a genuine, sincere partnership. We asked to be kept involved in the loop. We asked that we have, that our questions would be answered. We asked that we make this pono, not poho. We asked on Maui that least of all, we not have public hearings just so you can meet a check mark on your list of things to do. We are neighbor islands, not outer islands. There is no state of Honolulu. Neighbor islands should rank just as important as Oahu. Come back if you continue. You may hear the same message anyway. And again, I ask you to think about not rewriting it or repeating it. Mahalo.